I was trying to decide whether it was going to be manifestation or self-love. And the truth is, is that self-love is the root for your manifestation. Self-love is the soul. So in this video, I want to talk about self-love and how it relates to manifestation. Totally believe that they both go hand in hand. Manifestation is having a desire and then setting your intentions on that desire and then expecting to have it. It's not a let me make it happen. Let me create it. Let me beg, let me plead, let me hope that it happens. Manifestation happens when you are expecting it. You're using the law of attraction along with the law of vibration and you truly believe in your heart of heart that you will receive it. So if that's what you truly believe, then where does self-love come into play? And that is what we're going to talk about in this video, how self-love is crucial in manifesting anything that you want. If you're not healthy in the category of your self-love and how you feel about yourself and what you believe you deserve, you'll find yourself always waiting for it to happen instead of actually seeing it happen. You know that you planted the seed, you know that you put, you know, it's in the ground, you're watering it, it's getting plenty of sunlight, but why is it not growing? If you are taking in all the steps and you still have not seen anything sprout, then I'm going to ask you, how are you with your self-love and how that can possibly be stifling and stagnating your manifestation? All right. So I'm actually going to blow out my candle. So some of the basic things that you always hear people say is that you need to believe it before you can see it. And basically that's straight from the Bible. We walk by faith and not by sight. And so when you start to understand that if you have set out a desire, you have spoken this desire into existence, you have written or journaled this desire uh, down on paper, you have prayed for this desire to God, you have Close your eyes and imagine this desire happening. You've, you know, said affirmations, whatever it is that you do when you feel like you're manifesting and yet you have not seen it come to pass. You want to start asking yourself a serious question. Do I really believe that I already have it? Or am I waking up each day looking for it to come or hoping that it comes? Because what's tricky about that is that when you're looking and hoping and wondering and hoping, it means that you're very aware that it's not here. But when you're able to detach and you're able to not be so caught up in, I need this to happen because it's already has happened in your mind. Like, hey, I've already made my petitions known to the Lord. I've already prayed and made my requests or I've already wrote it down and journaled it. I've already went to sleep and woke up visualizing it. Whatever process that you use and you know that you've already done it, then you also need to know that it's already done. Not only have you done it, but it's already done. And now if you could believe that, and have the faith to believe that this is just a matter of time before you actually see that in your reality. Like it's here and now you are just allowing it to manifest where everyone can see that it's here. Even before everyone can see that it's here, you need to know that you know, that you know, that you know that it's already here. It's already done. You already have it. And once you know that, you wake up each day and you go about your day as if you already have it. How would you be thinking if this is already here? What would you say if this is already here? You are acting as if, you're acting as if you are living in the end result, okay? So once you have learned to do that, and if you have an issue, actually, if you have an issue and you feel like you're not able to do that, then I'm going to ask for you to look into yourself and ask, how's your self-love, okay? You know, your reality is your mirror. 
So wherever you get to perceive is actually only possible because of the qualities that you're holding within yourself. So when you love yourself, okay? I mean, when you really, really love yourself, everything about you, the whole package, you love yourself. You love these glasses that I never used to want to wear. You love your quirks that other people may not like. You love your own jokes that other people may not laugh at. You love your stretch marks. You love your height, your weight, you love the fact that you're aging. <laughs> you know, you want to come and embrace and love all of yourself unconditionally. Because when you are walking throughout this world, okay, when you're walking through this world and it's your perceptive, right, that you love yourself, quirks and all, you are now vibrating in the emotional state, in the energetic state that you need to vibrate in in order to attract what it is that you want to manifest. It's very hard to walk around ungrateful, picking at ourselves, focusing on our faults with this negative energy and attract abundance and attract something great attract your soulmate, attract that trip to Turks and Caicos. It just kind of doesn't work like that. You know, at the end of the day, simplest way to explain law of attraction is like attracts alike. And if you combine that with the law of vibration, what vibration are you emitting out? And that vibration, that energy, that emotional state is what you're going to get back. So if you are happy with yourself and you love yourself and you have cultivated a life of self-love, then you are going to get back love, happiness. If you are grateful and you're appreciating for the things that you have, even if it's not what you want yet, but you're glad that you have it, then what you're going to get back is more of those things that you're thankful for and even more things to be thankful for. Oftentimes, if you want to do the work to manifest, you want to start with yourself. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, okay, Okay, so all I have to do is love myself and I can just get anything that I want. No, but let's just take something. One of the things that I do besides YouTube is I am a travel advisor. I love taking trips, but I also love helping people take trips. And I feel like the more I focus on getting other people on a wonderful vacation, the more the universe just keeps giving me wonderful vacations to take. So it's a win-win. But if I didn't love myself enough to be confident to put myself out there, like there's so many people out there and say, hey, I'm a TA, I am experienced in travel, I can help book your trip with me, I can be responsible enough to make it all right and make sure that you get extra perks and privileges and upgrades. Like for me to put myself out there and now say, hey, I'm this person, I will have to believe that I am capable of it. I will have to believe that I'm good at it. In order for our brains to believe those things, oftentimes there's going to be a point where there is some action, okay? There is some action. So I don't want you to think that manifestation is all about self-love and that there's no action. It's the it's the self-love that even gives you the confidence to do what it is that you do. I have worked a lot with, say, used to act. I feel like I'm retired now, but I've worked a lot with actors and it takes some, some courage, some confidence to put yourself out there, to go into a room, singers, models, you all know what I'm talking about, to audition to people. All of those things takes not just self Self love, but some confidence and some belief in yourself to even go through the motion to do it. Because I'm tell you right now, sitting on my couch, watching TV, eating some good food is enjoyable. So anytime I venture off and I'm saying I'm trying to do something else, there has to be something in me that believes that I can do it. And if you can find that belief that you can do it, you can find that belief that you can manifest it. And then you'll know that you'll be able to manifest it because you love yourself enough that you now believe that you deserve it. Like you believe that you deserve it. And when we have low self-esteem and we don't love ourselves and we don't Feel like we're good enough for fill in the blank. We're not good enough for our dream car. We're not good enough for a career that we love. We're not good enough for a beautiful home for our family. When you start thinking that you're not good enough, then you're not at the vibrational state to manifest it. 
So before you go into any of the other manifestation strategies like affirmations, like scripting, journaling, visualization, which are all great, like actually putting action, taking the steps necessary for what you want. Like if you are trying to manifest your dream job, at some point you are going to have to fill out the application. At some point you are going to have to probably go to an interview, maybe a series of interviews. So there is going to be some action on your part. And it's it's really beautiful because when it's time for the action, you'll know it because it'll be divine action. It won't be you trying to force something to work. It won't be you trying to manipulate the system or trying to like, I really want this. I'm trying to manifest it. Like, oh, let me manifest it. Let me manifest it. Actually, it won't be. You will detach from it. And the reason why you can detach from it is because you already know that you have it. And because you already know that you have it, there is a sense of detachment. There is a sense of letting go. There is a sense of just allowing the universe, allowing God, you know, let go, let God, allowing it to come into your existence and you believe in your heart of hearts, you expect in your heart of hearts that it is just a matter of time that you see it in the physical, but in the spiritual realm, it is already here. You already have it. So maybe it's the answer to a problem that you have something that you're facing that is difficult, something that keeping you up at night, something that is giving you anxiety, something that is just stealing your joy. When you believe and expect and know that it is yours, there is a weight that's lifted. It's a, a, a weight that is totally lifted and you will feel better about yourself. And the more you feel better about yourself, the easier it is to believe that you already have it and to walk with that knowledge of you already having it being your reality. And if you get to the point where you still feel like you are really anxious and you really want it to happen and you feel like it's not happening and you don't know what else to do. This last tip that I'm going to say to me is the, it's the cherry on top. It's the icing on the cake. It's the do not fail. Like this particular strategy, this particular tip does not fail. Even if you feel like I have, and I have more work to do with my self-love, there are some things that I don't like about myself. There are um, some ways in which I don't feel like I'm worthy. Like even now I'm like, oh, should I have done this without my glasses? I don't know. But anyway, there are some things about myself where I feel like I'm not worthy. Then what? Do you just give up because you're you're aware that your self-love isn't where it needs to be? No, it's not an overnight thing. It's something that we work on, I feel like, for the rest of our existence. We're more likely working on our self-love. But um, once you have been mindful about where you are in your self-love and how that connects and affects your manifestation and you're at your point where I don't know what else to do, be still. Go into the silence. Don't do anything. Just detach and just, I mean, if you're just one of those people that just want to do something, get in the vibration of gratefulness, of thankfulness, of gratitude, you know, be thankful for water. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be something big like, oh my God, I'm thankful for this trip I have coming up. I'm thankful for water. I'm thankful for what it does when I put water in my system. I'm thankful that it's cold. I'm thankful that it's refreshing. I'm thankful that it is clean. I'm thankful that it's clean. I'm thankful that it's cold. I'm thankful that it's refreshing. I'm thankful that it is nourishing and hydrating my body. I'm thankful for this water. I'm thankful that I have easy access to water. I'm thankful that I can hold this water, that I have motion of my hands and that I can hold this water and that I can and that I can drink and I can control it. I don't need anyone to hold a bottle for me and, and, and pour it. You can literally start that simple. But if you do that, I mean, five minutes a day, 
seven minutes a day, you will be amazed at how much your vibration will raise, will increase. And then you will start emitting good energy out. And as you emit good energy out, that great energy is going to come back to you. So in the next part of this self-love manifestation series, I do want to talk about self-concept, self-awareness, the law of awareness. I do want to go deeper. So if you're interested in this topic and you want to be a part of it, I am going to invite you to uh, like this video, to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bells. So when you see videos like this, you will tune in and be part of it. And then also, if you have any insights to share about anything that you do to help strengthen your self-love, anything you do to help with manifestation, please put it in the comments because it will benefit everyone everyone. And that's really what this is about. I feel so bad because it's been a while since I've done videos like this. And I'm going to be honest with you. Oftentimes it was because like, oh my God, my hair is not done. So, you know, I don't want to do the video or I don't have my contacts in. Oh, I don't want to do the video. I'm actually still at work. I had a long day, <laughs> a long day. I've been getting feedback from you all. And I know that this is helpful. And I really felt like somebody needed to hear it and I needed to hear it. So see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.